So what's the main inspiration for your practice? Um, it's very hard to say. Uh, main inspiration, I did art since ever, since I'm a child. And I think it's nature, it's universe, the nothingness, it's spirituality, psychology, simplicity, minimal abstract thinking, it's transcending the mind, my mind, is the mind of the observer. Okay. Um, I want to ask you, state your philosophical anthropology as being a narcissistic view of all human beings. So, where does this view come from? Uh, can you say it again? <laughs> can you say it again? <laughs> so, you state your philosophical anthropology yeah. as being a narcissistic view of all human beings. So, where does this view come from? Like, is it philosophical or...? Um, that, that an artist is an, a narcissist? Is, it, is that the question? Or that we are a narcissist? Or... Um, so, it's basically what you, you kind of state um, about creation destruction yeah, yeah. as having a narcissistic yeah. view of all human yeah. beings. I really think that the universe is a narcissist. It's my cosmology, it's my, my idea of thinking. I really like the um, way of thinking very simple, um, uh, deconstructing everything, not going back to the very beginning of things, to the source. And if you are thinking about the universe as nothingness in the beginning, where it just was one thing, it just saw itself, and it's a kind of, by seeing itself, it's a narcissist. But then it's like a, maybe an astrophysical or cosmological narcissism, and everything which is being created out of this universe, even we, or plants, or animals, stars, energy, I don't know what, anything, particles, um, anything, it's only existing in its own space-time, in, in its own um, perception. It's, you are not aware of uh, being me and understanding me, because everything what you are seeing from my person and what you're hearing right now is just happening in your senses, in your body, so that's a kind of biological narcissism. You're seeing me right now on your retina, but not me standing here. So you're not hearing me here, you're hearing me in your ears. So you can't even do anything else than just be a narcissist. And you can apply that to any kind of things. If it's philosophical or not, that's the question. Thing. But that's a responsibility and an approach of an artist which is dealing with minimal abstract simplicity and um, using art as an investigation of the real thing in life and the universe and nature. Okay, and then what do you define creativity as? It's really hard to say. I really don't know. I really don't know. I think like creati creativity is, is spiritual. Maybe it's like what I think is that like I'm not thinking, like everything else is thinking, and everything else I'm in right now, uh, it's moving me, it's holding me, like the universe is surrounding me, it's holding me, so that thing is thinking through me, and I'm just a reflection on it, uh, of it, and, um, or maybe the universe is a reflection of me, so I really don't know, I think it's like just happening, it's creativity is actually referring to creation, but yeah. yeah. Well, what are you thinking when you make the work? Um, nothing. Like that's that's my own. That's my that's that that's my goal. That's my aim to think nothing. Like being in nothingness. Like purging my thoughts and being clear and clean and um, just being in nothingness. I think that nothingness is one of the, one of the most intelligent things uh, ever. And I think this is like where creativity actually comes from. From nothingness. It's like a living force, state, yeah. And then, what direction do you see your work going in next? So what are you working on at the moment? Mm, a lot of different things. Um, it's... Like, I really believe in healing. I really like the idea of healing. And my work is... What's happening to me if I'm doing it is that actually I'm, I try to disappear as human. Um, yeah. with all my social, cultural, politic, economical, preconditioned thoughts, associations and beliefs. So I'm just taking it all off and then I'm seeing where, where am I and uh, who am I. And uh, if people are looking at my work, I would like to have them uh, to transcend their mind, like recite their mind, I don't know, because uh, 
Um, so the next works will be more um, into forces and principles of nature in the universe and more simple, or I can I don't know. I can't say that. <laughs> uh, Anything can happen, sort of thing. Hey, kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really. Um, I have too many thoughts. I think like if people are asking me, I'm going crazy in my thoughts. I really don't know what's the right answer or not. And maybe it's because I'm German or something. Because we really, sometimes I think like this is a German mind thinking. We are really hyper analyzing everything. Doesn't matter what. And I try to. Um, I would love to create something trans humanistical. Or how do you say it? like trans? Yeah. Transhumanistical, like that's where. What do you mean by transhumanistical? That we are more than just humans that we know, like we are now. I think we, we are way more than just this. And um, that's why I'm destroying like, my golden mirror, or my, just my, yeah, my mirror, my thin square uh, perception of reality. I need to go through it to see who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.